Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Subnautica, and today we are all about the upgrades. So, we have finally managed to get the moon pool up and running. We have our modification station working, and straight off the bat, I'm going to start making some upgrades for this. Um, I really want some storage modules to put onto this ship, so we can actually store more stuff when we're out about. Helps us carry back a lot more things. Uh, upgrades. I need to put you in somewhere. Do I put you in there? I do. Okay. Now, that might not look like a lot has happened, but what we have now, I think it's on the other side. Yep. You see this little pod that sticks out the side? Hang on, I can't get up that little step, apparently. Right. Open storage. We now have 16 more storage slots. I mean, that's basically like a third of our actual inventory just added onto the side of the ship, which is pretty cool. However, we're going to make this ship even cooler. One thing we definitely want on this are going to be the pressure compensators. Um, here. So, those are going to require plasteel ingots and a computer chip. Computer chip shouldn't be a problem. Um, plasteel ingot is going to be a problem because we need more titanium. Um, and then we need... God, I don't even know. What do I need for that? I might make another fabricator in the moon pool because running back and forth like this is going to be a problem. I should have put... I probably should have designed the base better, honestly, now I'm thinking about it, but hey. You know what? I should have done, but I didn't. It's fine. So, plasteel ingot. Titanium ingot. Oh, and just lithium. Um, how much lithium have we got right now? Where, where the hell am I even storing lithium anymore? Apparently I'm not. We don't, we don't have any lithium, really. Nope, I, I'm not, I don't have any lithium in storage. Okay, interesting. Good to know. Uh, so we need to go get some lithium. We need to get a bunch of we need to get a whole bunch of wreckage to bring back and turn into stuff. Um, and basically, just look out for other things. So let's take out our slightly upgraded seamoff and start doing that, shall we? Sploosh. Caution, passing safe depth. Oh, hang on, that's wrong. Okay, so there is a minor bug that can happen with this sometimes. Um, it's nothing too major, let's be honest. Um, but all you need to do is open that up and say the pressure compensator, which we already have one of. There we go. You just got to reset it. Sometimes it forgets. It can go down to 300 meters. So we need wreckage. Uh, there is some right there, but there's also a shark. Interesting. We could just go for the set of shit. Actually, there's like three chunks there. Yeah, we can, we can do it. We can totally do this. Ooh, give me that. Give me that. No, no, it's fine. Mr. Shark, I'm not bothering you. Don't bother me. Hey, let's be friends. Let's be friends. Let's... Why can't we be friends? Because you're a man-eating shark, probably. Would be the answer to that question. And now, I'm going to store all those in here. So it's almost like I never picked up any at all. But I did. You all know I did. Uh, what else do we need? We needed... We needed some coral as well, didn't we? Because we didn't have any of that left. Let's see, let's head up back into the safe shallows. We can get a whole bunch of stuff up here. Um, I feel like we're low on quartz as well, so I wouldn't mind looking out for quartz. Drink that water just to keep the inventory space free before I forget. So a few more pressure compensators and we can start getting some really good depth on this sub. And that is going to be very useful. Okay, grab that. Uh, ooh, right, we want you straight away. Thank you. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hmm. I wonder, we, we saw something that said it needed gas pods. And if you see, they actually do leave gas pods. They have it like a timer before they explode. Okay, this might be a stupid thing to try and do, because it might possibly kill me. But I'm actually going to try and grab some of them. I wonder if I can grab some of them with this. Right, can you just have a fart, please? That'd be lovely. Come on, buddy, do the thing. Do the thing. Look, I'm all up in your face. There we go. Holy shit, I can. That's it. That's how you get gas pods. Okay. Interesting. So we could actually make some gas torpedoes. If I get a bunch of those. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. 
It's probably not worth doing that right now, is it? Because I'm not going to be making any gas pods anytime soon. Ow! Oh, uh, well, that was obviously stupid. Why did I do that? Okay, so apparently if you drop them in your inventory, they explode in your face. So don't pick them up unless you really, really want them. Would be the uh, life lesson I've just learned. Okay, it's getting dark, or is it... Oh, no, it's a lunar eclipse. Okay. Or a planetary eclipse. I mean, I'm not sure that's actually a moon, so... Either way, I can't see shit now. Good, good job. Good, good job, game. Where did I leave the sea moffins over there? Right. So, oh, interestingly, I have healed all the damage I took. We took like 40 damage. And now I'm fully healed again. That doesn't seem quite right. Okay, I did want some quartz. That's the only other thing I really want right now would be some quartz. So, let's try and have a look for that. Ooh, actually, you know what? Bit dangerous going into a thermal vent like this, but might be able to find some quartz in here. If I could say get out right here. Oh, silver. I mean I'll take the silver. Silver is actually pretty handy. You better not be getting damaged by that. Uh actually you are not looking so great. Gotta be honest. Maybe this is... Oh, shit. Okay. Tell you what, let's not find out if that blows up my seam off, because that would make me really, really sad. All we want is some quartz. We could find quartz just swimming around like a normal person, not leaving our valuable shit in the middle of a thermal vent. So, let's just get out, do some goddamn honest work, shall we? Just want some quartz. Like that quartz. Give me that quartz. Thank you. And that quartz. Thank you. And, ah, shit. No, not you. I don't want you. You're not quartz. I care not for you. I have no interest in you whatsoever. Uh, oh, there's our life pod. I was like, oh, look at that. There's something. Someone's built something over there. Yeah, it was me, the mess. I'm the only person alive on this planet, apparently. Well, yeah, no, I am the only person alive. There's lots of life on this planet. But I'm the only one that can actually be called a person. Let's just be damn clear on that, shall we? Again, I'm not sure what resources actually respawn. I kind of hope, as my FPS drops to nothing, um, stuff like quartz and rubble, uh, you know, salvage, and all that does actually respawn. Because our voices is going to get increasingly difficult to kind of actually keep doing stuff. I mean, then again, even if it doesn't, the game world is quite large. It's unlikely I'd ever completely run out of resources, but... You have to go further and further and further afield every single time. I wonder if I can grab a gas pod and throw it back at them. Okay, now that's... That, I, just had a, I just had a fort there. Might be a bad fort. Oh, quartz. Thank you. Right, come on, do the thing. Do the thing with your butt. Do, do the thing with your butt, dude. Uh, I just hit you. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now can I fire that? Oh shit, I can actually use it offensively. Oh wow, he did not like that. Okay, I admit that was pretty mean of me. That was pretty mean of me. I'm sorry. Okay, you, you're actually hiding in a in a shell. And my alarm's going off on my phone. I apologize for that. Uh, hmm. Okay, that was mean of me. I, I scared the crap out of Gasapult. So much that he's run away. I have no idea where he's gone. Oh, well, actually, there he is. He didn't go that far. Still, I don't think it hurt him hitting him with his own gas pod. But that could be useful. You can actually keep gas pods around. Can I hit anything else with it? Ooh, that actually... Now, was it the impact or was it the gas? Or, the you know, the toxic cloud? Interesting. Okay. It probably wouldn't kill a rabbit worry, because rabbit worries are actually poisonous themselves. So I imagine they have some kind of natural resistance to that sort of thing. Why can't I pick that up? Oh, God, what? Ah! Wow, okay. You know what? You can fuck off. Okay, we're good, we're good. I've just filled up my inventory of quartz, so we need to head back now. I'll stop trying to murder innocent sea life. Even if it is with their own emissions. I mean, let's be honest. If, you know, if you're gonna deal it, if you're gonna, if you're gonna yeah, if you're going to deal it, you should smell it. Let's be fair. 
Why did I leave the seam off so far away? Okay. I, I got really well carried away going through all that stuff, didn't I? What was all this stuff I dropped? Is that lithium? Oh shit, is that lithium? I need lithium. I forgot, one of the things I need is actually lithium. Uh, what do I actually not need? Gold? I don't need gold. Uh, I could get rid of some titanium. No, I need titanium. Damn it! I also got some lead here. Okay. How much lithium do we need? More than zero. Get rid of the gold. I thought I already had got rid of the gold, to be honest. No, not the salt. Okay, this is why you shouldn't just pile stuff up. This is not an efficient process here. Just give me one more lithium. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. So we've got titanium. We've got lithium. We've got the coral. Um, we've got a couple of other random bits and pieces. It's all good. Let's head back. We just want we want more pressure compensators for this thing. Um, we've got the storage, which is handy. Could build more storage. You know, they're, they're pretty cheap for free titanium. So we could build more storage for short trips like this. Um, but I probably do want like four full pressure compensators so that I can take this thing like down a thousand meters. Because honestly you feel a lot safer driving this thing around than you do just swimming around with your bits out. Oh, I'm dropping reclaimed water behind me as well. I wonder if it actually dropped out. I can't see anything. It might have dropped down. Might not have done, though. Well, let's take it back. This will recharge the seam off, same as it will on the Cyclops. I also wonder if it will repair the damage, because that would be kind of nice. Welcome aboard, Captain. Not going to lie, I would like it if the damage got repaired. You are fully charged. Let's find out. Let's just jump back in. What's our condition? No, you're not repairing it. Okay. I don't think it did. I think I, I think I've always wanted it to repair it. I don't think it's ever actually been a feature in the game. There we go. Cool. Okay, so you're done. We've got that. Okay, so we need to make the all the stuff we've picked up needs to turn into plastic and goods and computer chips. We need one of one for each pressure compensator. We can fit another three on there and still have the module, which would be kind of nice. Not too worried about the solar panel charger. That would be handy for just like dicking around near the surface, but we're, we're planning this thing to go deeper right now, so let's focus on that. What I need to do first, though, is drop off most of the bits and bobs I picked up. Like, all the quartz can just go away for now. I'm going to remove that water. That can go away. All of this ore can just go in here for the time being, because I need to go grab all the other titanium from the storage, for storage pod in there. definitely think I want a fabricator in here. It just it feels like it would make my life easier. Though I'm also wondering, can I build windows in here? Apparently, oh, you, you kind of said I could for a second there. Oh shit, can I actually build a window? It would actually be nice if there were a couple of windows in here, I'll be honest. Okay, what do I actually need for windows? Remind me, game, what I need for a window. Two glass. You know what, I might try and put a window in here. I think this place could use some more light. You know? Okay. Yup. And I mean, I did just pick up all that quartz, so why not? Why the hell not? Right, turn that stuff into metal. That all of it? Yep. Right. Give me two titanium ingots. Hopefully. Yeah, we should have enough there. So that'll give us three pressure compensators on the seam off, which will be pretty handy. Okay. Uh, what else do we want? We need all the stuff I put over here now. So I, you've got those. I need the lithium. So I can turn those into plastic ingots. Okay. And 
Damn it, I can't remember what the second item was. I'm pretty certain it was a computer chip, but I am going to double check this before I waste my resources and my time by making the wrong thing. What else did you need? Yeah, two computer chips. Okay, computer chips are nice and easy. No problem with computer chips. No problem with computer chips at all. You'd think I'd have this memory this memorized by now, but really don't. Okay, two silver ore, two quartz. And what was the other thing? Oh, the table coral. Damn it. Yep, yep, table coral. Where the hell did I put the table coral? There we go. Alright. Okay. Run back. We're getting a lot of exercise. This is good. My guy's been, like, driving around for the last couple of episodes. Probably needed to stretch his legs, you know. Do some cardio. Excellent. Pressure compensators. Ooh, power efficiency module would also be handy. Uh, no, no, no. We want pressure compensators. We want to go deep. I'm not worried about power. I'm not worried about hull reinforcements. I'm not worried about storage. I just want this thing to be able to go deep for me. Uh, I mean, the solar charger would be nice. Torpedo system would be nice, but let's just get the pressure compensators built for now. And these are good for these are good for the sea moth and the prawn, not for the cyclops. I don't even know how I, you can make them for the cyclops. I just don't know how yet. I don't think. All right, you can go on there, and you can go on there. Okay, so your total depth now should be what four hundred. Three hundred. Why only three hundred? You've got three pressure compensators. That should be way more, surely. Or, oh god, tell me they they Okay, crush depth three hundred. They don't stack? What? I thought they stacked. They they used to stack. This is how you used to go to go deeper. Oh, crap. Okay, well, this was a... I was going to say this was a bit of a mistake of an episode, but hey, we all learned something today. I'm an idiot. Yeah, apparently they don't stack anymore. I'll have to double-check and see if that's actually intentional, but you used to be able to just stack pressure compensators on top of each other and, you know, get this thing to go deeper. That, unfortunately, is no longer the case, apparently. That's kind of annoying. So you can only use the seam off down to 300. I mean, clearly it's not designed for deep-sea diving. You know, look at the shape of the thing. But I thought the whole point was you could upgrade it so that it could, at the cost of not having other systems on there, that you'd like to have when you're that far down, like a torpedo system. Ah, that's annoying. Oh well. Um, I mean, I at least one of those I can use on the prawn, probably, when I go build a prawn. In fact, you know what? Let's go look at what... I haven't built a prawn yet. I don't know how to build a prawn, but I have an idea. Let's investigate that quickly, because somewhere up near the surface, I left my mobile vehicle bay. somewhere. There it is. Oh, that's actually... Is that wandering away from the base? Because I left it kind of directly above the base. That is not directly above the base. Hope it doesn't wander too far. That would be bad. Where are you facing? facing? You are facing towards the base, though. That's fine. Right. Now, I'm wondering... Yes, we can make a prawn from this. I think that's going to be the objective of our next episode, is to make ourselves a prawn and take that around for a bit of a spin. So, we've got the aluminium oxide. Plastic lingots are pretty easy. The only thing we don't have is aerogel. What the hell is aerogel? And how do I make it? That's a question for next episode. Anyway, I'm going to take a break here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed all that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. And hopefully... I'll see you later for the next one of these. Bye.